Well, the Wall of Wind Challenge is all about wind engineering and mitigation. So what we have here today is we have teams of high school students from Miami-Dade County that have come here today to test their very own projects against the Wall of Wind. What's interesting, we decided to take a project that would simulate a one-story building with a flat roof. Because there's problems with flat rooftops. When a hurricane wind blows across it, you have uplift. So we thought, let's have the high school students try and come up with a way to bring down that uplift. Uh, this is really an outstanding project. I mean, I'm a meteorologist, but I learned a long, long time ago that it's not all about the forecast. And to see these high school students Coming up with these ideas on how to mitigate buildings and, uh, you know, in the long run that will keep people safe and uh, save a lot of money uh, in the long run. Watching it go through the test was pretty nerve-wracking, not going to lie. Um, we saw our project start to wobble at around 60 miles per hour and then kind of tore off one of the walls, so we saw all of our work kind of be destroyed, but at the same time succeed since none of the, the gravel was moved. I think it really brings about ingenuity. Uh, it, it, it taps the young minds on, on different ways of, of looking at, at decade-old old problems and, and situations that uh, new ideas might be, might be worth uh, pursuing. First place of this year's 2013 Mitigation Challenge, Coral Park High School. Watching the wind speed increase, I started to notice little parts move and I started getting nervous, but after everything went through, I was, and the, everything held together and there was no gravel moved or everything worked the way it was supposed to work, it was really something. The next year I will be attending FIU. I will be starting as a mechanical engineer. 